when it comes to creating patterns, you are given a list of choices for the pattern type. We would commonly use features or bodies. This is a short tutorial to show you the advantages of using bodies as compared to features. We have a simple plate here and we are going to create a series of fins on top. I have created the starting or seed fin beforehand. Going into the feature, you can see that this fin was created as a join operation. This means that the fin merges into the main body. Going out of the feature and looking at the bodies folder, you can see that there is one single body. Go to create, pattern, pattern on path. In this case, since the fin was not created as a separate body, we need to select features as the pattern type. Select the first fin. For path, select the appropriate edge of the plate. Change the quantity and spacing accordingly and exit. Now suppose that we need to add a filler here at the corner of all the fins. Let's roll back the timeline to the point before the pattern was created. And add that fillet. Now if we roll the timeline forward, you can see that the other fins do not have the fillet. During the initial creation of the pattern feature, only the extrude feature was selected to be part of the pattern. To add the fillet to the pattern, you need to go inside the pattern feature. At this point, you can see that the fillet is not part of the selection. Hold down the control key and click on the fillet. The fillet becomes blue. And you can see that there are now two objects selected. Once you hit OK, you will see that the fillet gets propagated to the rest of the fins. To summarize, if you choose to pattern features, any subsequent additional features would need to be manually added in, if you want them to be patterned also. Here's where the advantage of patterning bodies comes in. Let's go back to the point where the first fin extrude was created. For operation, let's change it to new body. Hit OK. If you go to the bodies folder, you will see two bodies, the main body and the fin. Start the Pattern on Path feature. For Pattern Type, select Bodies. Click on the first fin. Select the path, adjust the spacing, and hit OK. As with the previous example, suppose we needed to add a fillet. Roll back the timeline to the point before the pattern and add the fillet. If we roll forward the timeline, you can see that the fillet gets propagated this time round, unlike in the previous example. Since we selected the bodies option, the pattern feature would still recognize this as a single body and pattern it accordingly. The fact that the body has changed slightly does not matter as it is still the same body that was selected to be patterned. There is no need to go into the pattern feature to manually add in any new features. Looking at the bodies folder, you can see that there are a total of 4 bodies. Go to modify, combine, select all 4 bodies and combine them into one single body.